In these problems, we're using the double angle identities to simplify some trigonometric expressions. And just a reminder, the double angle identities, we've got the sine of 2x, which is 2 times sine x, cosine x. We've got the cosine of 2x, which can be expressed in uh, a few different ways. So cosine squared minus sine squared, or 1 minus 2 sine squared, or 2 cosine squared minus 1, and then the, the tangent of 2x. So those are the double angle identities that we're using here. The trick is to try to recognize them in these expressions. The first one is the sine of pi over 9 times the cosine of pi over 9. And the only one where we have sine times cosine is right here. It's not exactly what we have, though. Here we have 2 times sine x cosine x. And here we just have sine of something times the cosine of something. So what I want to do is actually use some algebra to change this formula. In fact, I'm just going to divide both sides by 2. So what I'd get is 1 half sine of 2x now equals sine x cosine x. And this sine x cosine x arrangement is exactly what I have right here. So x is pi over 9. So this is what I want to write now, 1 half sine of 2x. And 2x would be 2 times pi over 9, so just 2 pi over 9. So we had to manipulate the identity a little bit with algebra first, but uh, in the end, uh, we got our answer of 1 half sine of 2 pi over 9. Let's try this next one. We've got cosine squared minus sine squared of some quantity. So that looks exactly like this uh, first cosine of 2x identity. So we're not going to have to do much at all. In fact, the x here is just the 10 degrees. So we can write the cosine of 2x, the cosine of 2 times x would be 2 times 10, or 20 degrees. And that's all there is to that one. All right, here we have 1 minus 2 times the sine squared of theta over 3. So that looks like this one, and 1 minus 2 times the sine squared of x. And yeah, it doesn't look like we have to do anything to change that. So this also equals the cosine of 2x. Our x in this case is theta over 3. So this would be the cosine of 2 times theta over 3. All right, last one. We've got uh, a tangent here. 2 times the tangent of pi over 9 minus uh, over 1 minus tangent squared pi over 9. That's exactly what we have here. So this is the tangent of 2x. Our x is the pi over 9. So this is just tangent of 2 pi over 9. So that is how to use double angle identities to simplify some trig expressions.